Hey, I'm back, fam. I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. Um, and on the previous video I just posted, I said I was going to come back and make another video because um, there's something else I wanted to say to y'all. And that video, I wanted to just leave it as it was with what, I, what was said in it because I believe that it was a word for someone. So I'm going to say what I wanted to say in this one. Now, I will start off by praying. So that I don't go digressing into my own conversation. Let me tell y'all, I tried to make this a second video just a second ago. And I was like kind of going off into my own little tangent. And I don't want to do that. I want to just say what God wants me to say. Because I was just ranting about something that I, happened that I saw. So, um, And just about this world and how the world needs Jesus real bad but anyway I'm gonna just I, I really want to just talk about what God wants me to talk about so I'm gonna pray and then I'm gonna get into it Heavenly Father I thank you for allowing me the opportunity again I know I talk a lot Lord so you gotta help me so again of course you know I gotta lay my opinions and my thoughts at your feet I submit my self to you I submit my spirit my my body my mouth my words, my, 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 everything I submitted to you, Lord God, that you would just say what you want said in this video, that you would help me to say everything that you want to be said and are, and articulate it and say it the way you need it to be said so that it can be received the way you need it to be received. In Jesus name, I pray. Amen. Uh, so listen, um, for the, for the last couple to two years, two and a half to three years, I've been seeing this number. This is not a number that normally, um, you know, uh, I usually see, or no, sorry, that normally people see. Now, I told y'all, the Lord speaks to me through numbers, because usually the numbers are scriptural references for the season or for the time that he wants to say to me or that he wants to give to me, revelation that he wants to give to me, um, uh, and stuff like that, right? So this specific number is not necessarily a number that people normally see people see numbers like 11 11 12 12 uh 111 222 <laughs> and i literally just looked at the time stamp and it was 222 a second ago just now anyway so but yeah so you know normally you know people see like numbers like that however this specific number i have been seeing it's a number that the lord gave me during a time when i was spending i was spending with him and you know i always bring my journal and my pen ready for if the Lord gives me something, if the Lord wants to say something um, that he wants me to write down. And he gave me this number 323. I wrote it down um, and he just said 323. And I was like, 323? What do I mean? What's, what's 323, God? Like, what is that? I don't get it. That 323, let me just tell y'all something to go into depth about that number. Cause yeah, it's not a number that people normally see. And it's, 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 I knew that it had some sort of significance and that's why I wrote it down. And then after I wrote it down, I hadn't seen it for a minute. Then all of a sudden I started seeing it, seeing it, seeing it continuously, right? Seeing it all the time. And I just, I had, I remember there was a, an inst a moment in time towards actually around last year, the end of last year i was really trying to figure out what is this number what does this number mean i was really trying to figure it out and i couldn't figure it out so i was like okay you know what i came to the conclusion that i'm not gonna know until god wants me to know so for somebody who's watching right now you needed to hear that you're not gonna know until god wants you to know and when god wants you to know you will know when he wants you to know because he will alert you that he wants you to know i'm gonna just leave that right there and so yeah i just left it alone so i would still see it and i was still seeing this number don't get me wrong i was still seeing it, but i kind of just left it and i was just like okay god i see it i know it's there and i know like i guess it's you know sometimes god doesn't want you to forget about something so he'll continue to remind you of things and show you things because he doesn't want you to forget just like sometimes he doesn't want you to forget uh, the promise he has for you. So he'll remind you of it and, and, and he, he'll remind you of it. Or sometimes when, you know, you see somebody, uh, get a blessing or somebody gives their testimony and he brings you across somebody's testimony. Um, it is because he's trying to remind you that, uh, you are next. Hallelujah. It's like the Lord is weaving all weaving words through what I'm talking about. It's like, he's just moving and, I told him to say what he wanted to say. So I guess that's what he's doing. But that's that's sort of what it was. Um, anyway, so yeah, this number, back to this number now, 323. All right, 
So one of the things that I was like, okay, is it this? Was that I know that the 23rd, there's the 23rd and March is the third month of the year. And the 23rd is, it's March 23rd. March has a 23rd day. So I was like, okay, well maybe it means that, but then what does that, but then there was nothing else. So I was just like, I kind of left it. Anyway, so this year now comes and I kind of wasn't seeing it as frequently until last month. February, I was seeing it a lot more. And I was like, I kind of took that to, I kind of, I kind of, I kind of took that to, um, not heart. I kind of took that into, um, took note of that because I realized, oh, March is next month. So is he trying to say something? Anyway, I still said, when the Lord is ready to reveal it to me, he will reveal to me what that number means, 323, right? Not your average number. You know what I mean? That's how I know it's specifically God has a specific significance in that number and the reason as to why he told that number to me personally. There's a, a significance. So we're in March now. Beginning of March comes, I'm starting to see this number more consistently. I'm starting to see this number all the time, honey. I'm starting to see this number so much. So I'm like, okay, I still said, when God is ready to reveal to me what the revelation is in this number or reveal to me the reason as to why he's been showing me this number, he'll do it, right? Because sometimes that's how we just got to be. Sometimes we just have to be that. We just have to do that, right? Sometimes you got to say it out loud so you can hear yourself say it so that you can just relax for a second when you are when, you know, God reveals something to you and he only gives you a part of it and not the whole thing. And there's a reason why he doesn't give you the whole thing, right? Because it's not time to give you the whole thing yet, okay? It's not time for him to give you the full revelation of it yet. Not time for him to give you the fullness of uh, of that thing that he gave you yet. But it's coming because if he gave you something partially, he doesn't, he, oh, thank you, Holy Spirit. If God gave you something partially, he only gave you a part of a word. He only gave you a part of whatever it is that whatever that means for you. He only showed you a little bit of it. He only gave you a, a, a half of the vision. He only gave you a, a little bit of it. He didn't give you a, a, the full it, it, it in its entirety. There's a reason for that right? But don't think that if he gave you a part of it, you're not going to see the rest of it come into come into fruition. Don't think if he gave you a part of it, you're not going to see it come to its fullness at some point in time. Why? When God gives a word, it always comes into its fullness. You always get the revelation of its fullness. You always are able to perceive at some point it in its fullness, right? Hallelujah. He gave me that word. He said 323, but he didn't give me it in its fullness, right? So I can only speculate. And that's sometimes what we do. We speculate. We can only speculate, but he will not give it to you until it is time. This is somebody needs to hear this today. I feel it for somebody. You will not know until the rightful time when you are supposed to know. Stop trying to rush God. Stop trying to, don't try to go ahead of God. Don't try to fast to get ahead of God's word. Do you get what I'm trying to say? So I am in no way, before somebody tries to come for me, telling you not to fast, but I'm telling you to only fast when the Lord instructs you to fast, or if you feel an unction in your spirit that the Lord is calling you into a fast, right? Then that's what you do, because he will give you that unction when it's needed. However, what I'm saying is, don't try to force the hand of God. Don't try to move or go ahead of God when something is time, when it's time for you to get the fullness of what God has spoken uh, to you into or over your life, You, it will happen. And this is proof because, like I said, I had been seeing this number 323 for about two years or maybe two and a half years. I don't know. I don't remember the, I know that it's been a long time that I've been waiting for him to give me the revelation of it till I got to the point where when I kept saying it and God wasn't telling me the revelation. So that's why you also need to have your relationship with God so you can understand sort of the way God works, right? Sometimes God's silence speaks extreme volumes, speaks so much volumes. I came to terms and I was like, oh, you know what? I'll be asking you this and stuff, but I do know that sometimes you give us a partial, you sometimes you prophesy to us in part. 
So you give us part of it. You do not give us the full entirety of it for a reason. It's not time yet. Hallelujah. So anyway, guess what happened? Guess what happened? Guess what happened? Just guess. Listen, this week, I think it was this week. Was it this week? It was, it was, why did I take this picture? Monday, thank you. The date's right on the picture, the screenshot. Monday, I was chilling with God, like I often do. Just chilling with God, just in my bed, just lying back and just chilling and just listening to some worship music and stuff, just chillaxing. And I heard the Lord say this, and see, that's the thing, you never know. You just don't know when. That's why you always got to be open to God. You always got to be open in the spirit. You always got to be having, you always got to spend time with God because you never, you just don't know. Let me just say this. The reason why the Lord loves for us to spend time and needs us to have a relationship and actually be disciplined enough. And, and if we don't have the discipline to ask him to help us with that, to spend time with him, to be in his presence is because you never know when God's going to just say something to you, right? But you have to have that connection to him. And even when you, you have to have the connection so strongly with the Lord. And that just comes with just making time out for him to spend with him, right? So that he feels and knows that he's able to speak to you whenever he wants to speak to you. You know what I'm saying? Because I was just, I wasn't really even praying. I was, this is how you know you have a relationship. When you be in the day just going about your business and God says, God speaks to you through however, that doesn't need to be aud- always need to be audible. That could be he speaks to you through something or through someone, right? He speaks to you through a certain situation. That is how you know your relationship with God is, 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 is really strong anyway. So yeah, I was just laying there and the Lord said to me, this is March. So I've been the num the, the frequency of me seeing the number has, has heightened. So God said to me, I want you to, uh, Bianca, go look up the, um, just randomly out of nowhere, go look up the Hebrew significance of March 23rd, 323 of March 23rd. Go look up the, just go look it up or the Jewish calendar. Go look on the Jewish calendar. Look up the significance of this day. Y'all are going to, you're, y'all are going to flip out. You're going to flip out in a sec. Cause I'm going to read to you what I looked up, what I found that the Lord had me look up. I'm going to, I'm going to read it to you. So I, I Googled it. I went ahead. If you hear uh, talking in the background, I apologize. You know, that's what happens when you have other people in the house. Anyway, Tuesday, March 23rd, 2021. In the Jewish calendar is the 10th of Nisan, 5781. On this day, y'all, on this day, take this in. On this day, the Israelites crossed the Jordan. It says Israelites crossed Jordan. So on March 23rd, so I read that part and I said, I'm sorry, God. What? What are you trying to, are you trying to say something right now? Right? So listen to this. It says, Three days after the two spies dispatched by Joshua scouted the city of Jericho. Three days after the spies dispatched by Joshua scouted the city of Jericho, the children of Israel were ready to enter the land promised by God to their ancestors as their eternal heritage. The Israelites were ready to cross over into their promised land. And as they approached the Jordan with the holy ark carried by the Kohanim, or the priests, in their lead, the river parted for them, as the waters of the Red Sea had split when their fathers and mothers marched out of Egypt 40 years earlier. As they approached, I'm reading it again, as they approached the Jordan with the holy ark carried by the priests, in their lead, the river parted for them as the waters of the Red Sea had split for the Egyptians, for the Israelites previously. Listen, that is the significance of the number 323. So y'all have to understand, this was on Monday. Do you understand that on Tuesday, next week, the week that's coming up is March 23rd? So do you understand what I'm telling you, that when it's time for you to get the fullness or the full revelation of something that God has spoken to you only partially at one point, when it's time for you to find out what it is, you will. Monday, the beginning of the week before the week of this day, he tells me and gives me, Hallelujah. God gave me the revelation in its fullness because it was time 
yeah, the word has reached, had reached, oh, has, maybe I was supposed to say has, has reached its fullness in time. Masata, robosikia, yamasata, inamandi obosaka, yabashiki olobosai, yamashani olamondi yamasanti didioso. And the word is springing forth now, or it's time for the word to spring. Yeah, thank you, Holy Spirit. It's time for the word to bear its fruit. It's time for the word to bear its fruit. That 323 he gave me was a seed and I didn't let go of that seed. What else did I not do? Just cause I didn't get the fullness of what was supposed to come from that seed, right? I still allowed God to, I still spent time with God, right? And in spending time with God, I still held on to that word while I spent time with God, though God was not giving me it in its entirety. Come on, Holy Spirit. And so I was still letting him water me, generally speaking. But while he was watering me, he saw and knew I was still holding on to the word that he gave me, that he did not give me the full revelation on. So he knew that that thing was uh, what I, that thing was essentially basically along with me the word got watered while God watered me the word got rooted was able to take root while God watered me is are you catching what I'm trying to say he gave me a word I didn't I didn't let the word fall by the wayside just like in the parable of the sower the the word was able to take root namaste and I kept it I didn't say, oh, you know what? If you're not going to tell me what this word means, God, forget it. Like, whatever. I was still in expectation to hear hallelujah about what this word was, what the full revelation of it was. I hope you're catching something that I'm trying to say to you. I'm ca- I hope you're catching what God is trying to say to you, spiritually speaking. God, open their ears. Father, open their ears, their hearts, and their minds to receive what you are trying to relay right now, I rebuke every spirit that is trying to block their spiritual ears. Trying to block their spirit from trying to from from receiving this thing right now, Lord God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, open their ears, Lord God, that they may receive it. Masakabasha. Listen, the word was the day, sorry, the significance of the day was that the Israelites crossed over to the Jordan. That is one of the most significant moments in biblical history, in my eyes at least. It is one of when when they crossed the Red Sea, and this was the next instance where God did just what he did on this day. Thank you, Holy Spirit. On this day that I just told y'all about, God did what he did for the his children before, years before. God did the same thing for them and better because they actually got to enter into the promise. They get that to enter into the land. Three days after Joshua told this, the, 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 to, them to go spy out, to scout out the land, right? Just like two instances where God goes before you, scouts out the land, makes sure that it's ready. But while he makes sure that it's ready, guess what? In the scripture, it says that Joshua told the people to prepare themselves to cross in the scripture, it says that Joshua, I will put the scripture below, but in the scripture, it also says that Joshua did tell them, get ready to cross over because we are going to be crossing over. During that time, he sent the, the spies went to go scout out the land. In that, in what I just read, it said that the priest carried the ark before the Israelites and went before them because God always, God does not let you cross over into new territory without him. So he doesn't let you cross over into new. He's, and and, and thank you, Lord. Thank you, Holy Spirit. He's not going to let you cross over into your promise without him. So don't try and go ahead of him. That word was for, was for someone. God will not let you, listen, they had to the, the ark had to go before in the procession. The ark had to be always ahead. So God will not let you go into your promise without him. Now that's two things. Don't try to go ahead of him 
and get the promise for yourself quickly because you want it now. One. Two, don't be, uh, what's the word I'm looking for, Lord? Intimidated by your promise. Yeah? Don't be intimidated. This is another word. Don't be intimidated by the promise because God's going before you. He will not. Someone needed to hear this. He, God will not. God will not let you go into your promise, into your new season, your new territory, your next level. God will not let you uh, step into the new land unless he has gone before you and level the playing field. I just keep hearing that. I kept hearing that today, so I'm just going to say it. God is leveling the playing field, yeah? I'm not going to talk a lot about why you're waiting and while you're waiting because I already talked about it in the other video that I just posted today. But I will say this, while you are doing that uh, and you're not experiencing any like movement, God did, I'll repeat it again in this video, God did tell me um, previously that he's moving mountains for me. And if he's doing it for me, he's doing it for you. God is no respecter of person. So if he's doing that for me, that means I'm meant to share that with you to let somebody know that while you're waiting, God is moving. That's it. What I want to say now, this day, this 323, I will reiterate again, pay attention to the fact that God told me, God gave me the fullness of his word. God gave me the fullness of the revelation, Shama CTI. The week before the week when the day fell, if that makes sense. So I don't know what's going to happen <clears throat> on March 23rd. I just know years ago, the significance of that day. And when I heard that and I saw that and that he just so happened to, that's nothing happens by happenstance or circum. Nothing happens by coincidence. As a child of God, that is my firm belief. So if he told me this, all of a sudden, this is two years I've been seeing this. And now... When I'm that when I'm that close, think about it, somebody. Please catch this. When you're that close, I'm that close to the date. That's when he gave me the fullness of what the revelation is. There's a reason why. So that's just what I wanted to release to y'all. That's just what I wanted to share with you today. I just wanted to share that for you and to you, and I hope that it um, <clears throat> blessed you. I hope that you got some from it. I hope that you got some that you are encouraged. Because I believe that the Lord wanted me to release this to let you know or just to remind you that when it is time for the revelation to be fulfilled, when it is time for the, 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 the word of God to be fulfilled, it is going to be fulfilled. Um, and just because God hasn't said anything or you haven't gotten no updates on it, you still got to hold on to that thing. Um, and yeah, I don't know what's going to happen on March 23rd. I have no idea. But all I know is on that day. All those years ago for the Israelites, he did what he did. He, 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 he fulfilled his word that they would see their promise. He fulfilled that word that they would cross over just like he did for their mothers and fathers. So that, I, I hope that blessed you. Um, yeah, that's all I got to say. I ain't got nothing to say else. I love y'all and I miss you guys. So I'm just glad to be back. Y'all know when I come back. God always has me. There's always multiple videos that get released to y'all. I love y'all. I really do. Thank you for sticking with me when I like, even when I like disappear and stuff. Um, I love you guys. I said that already. <laughs> I'll say it again. Anyway, okay. So that is it. I will see you in the next one.